Hello, my name's Robert Martin, and I'm pretty passionate about what's going on in Palestine. First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for all the support that I've been given, all the messages that I get continuously every day. The haters, I laugh, and I truly don't care about the haters because it means I'm doing something and it means we're getting under their skin. I have a lot of people ask why I got so passionate about what's going on in Palestine, and it's pretty simple. I've known for a long time that there's been issues over there, but like most other people, I didn't really know. And when the last Gaza strike, strike happened, I started doing a lot of reading because I couldn't comprehend that an army could do this sort of thing and kill children on a regular basis whilst the world watched. And yet they were crying self-defense. So as I read, I started to see that Hamas has nothing to do with it. It's Israel, and what they're trying to do is to steal land. It's the Zionists trying to take over someone else's land. But they'd have you believe that there was nobody there at the start, but there was. There was heaps of people there. The Palestinian people are not terrorists. The Palestinian people aren't haters. The Palestinian people are not people that hate Jews. They are simply people trying to live a safe and secure life and have freedom like you and I have. I couldn't believe that it could be as bad as what I read. So I went over there and I had a look. And I was absolutely flabbergasted at the treatment, at the abuse, at the inhumane treatment of human beings caused by a nation crying self-defence. I was exposed to horrific things over there. I was exposed to the IDF. They call themselves the IDF, which I find repulsive and embarrassing that they can call themselves the Israeli Defence Force, because they're not. Not once do they defend. Not once do they go in and defend anything. You can't go in and occupy somebody else's land and cry self-defence. You can't go in there with Apache helicopters and shoot people. You can't go over and with your jets and drop phosphorus over an innocent people. What embarrasses me the most is that the uneducated person, and I was one of these people not very long ago, that seems to think that the Palestinians are at fault. What I've now realised since, that every time they say Palestinians, they'll put terrorists. Every time they put anything to do with the Israeli army, they'll put that they're defending themselves. Well, there's an absolute fabrication of the truth. It's a misnomer. When I found out that this was going on, I couldn't stop. And so a lot of people ask, where do I get my, I suppose, my motivation and where do I get my energy to keep doing this? Well, I simply put myself in their shoes. I put my family in their shoes. If anybody did anything to my family, if anybody threatened my family, God helped what I would do. The Palestinian people have been exposed to this since 1948. The world mainstream media are to blame. They should be ashamed of themselves, and the people that believe what's going on should also be ashamed of themselves. I feel sick every morning when I get up and read the news of what's happened, because I've seen firsthand how they treat these people. I experience the most loving environment, the most welcoming people over there. All they want is freedom. I'm sick to death of hearing about Hamas. The Palestinians are doing this, the Palestinians are doing that. It's wrong. The Palestinians want freedom. I won't stop until they stop. I will not stop typing, writing, sending letters and being in their faces until they stop. And I'd like to thank everybody that has been a part of my journey this year, but it's got nothing to do with me. Anyone says, well done, Rob, it's great. Don't thank me for it because it's a human being's responsibility to help those that need help. Anyone that's in a position that can make a difference should. Anyone that can make a difference has the responsibility to help those others. I ask everybody to think back to your worst experience ever, whether it was losing a family member, whether you lost your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter, whether you lost a home, whether you lost the rights to go somewhere, whether you've lost your driver's license, well, welcome to the Palestinian world. Day by day, they live this. The worst part about it is then they're blamed for what's going on. It is not their fault. Please do some proper research before you start regurgitating the propaganda that the Israelis have been dishing out for so long. The Zionists are a sick cult. They are the sickest cult that you and I have ever seen. But yet they get on mainstream media and say, we're protecting ourselves. 
They are not. I will continue to do this, and I hope that you will continue to do it. The one thing that I do ask is that people don't just like and share. Copy and paste a lot of what I write and write it on the newspapers. The reason that I do this is to make it easier for other people. Please help me help the Palestinian people. One state, two state solution, I don't really get involved with. They need to stop the occupation. They need to be left alone and stop being abused. In any other country in the world, it would be illegal. If this happened anywhere else in the world, there'd be an uproar. A few people die in America and the whole world is watching. Well, this happens every single day in Palestine. Please help and make 2015 better. You saw the amount of people that have died and have been kidnapped and butchered and lost their homes. It is our responsibility to help them. Please help. Thank you very much for all your support and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.